Spring is in the air and I am so excited to share with you guys my quick fix approach to three incredibly delicious, easy soups perfect for spring. First, I'm gonna start with my gazpacho. Because it's chilled and you're not cooking it, you really wanna make sure that you get really great quality ingredients. You want the best quality ingredients because you want the best flavor. This soup is really easy. Basically, I'm just gonna dump all of my ingredients into this blender. And what I'm gonna start with first are my tomatoes. And again, you want your tomatoes to be really nice and ripe because it'll add so much flavor to your soup. Add my cucumbers some bell peppers, and some garlic. And you know this smells so good because it's nice and fresh. Everything is fresh, fresh, fresh. I'm gonna add sherry vinegar, and I'm gonna add extra virgin olive oil. And you want extra virgin olive oil as opposed to regular olive oil because it has so much more flavor. And my secret ingredient is vegetable juice. Now, this is gonna add so much richness and flavor to the soup. There we go. Pinch of salt, maybe a little more. <laughs> and blend away. Make sure you have the top completely on. I've done this before. I was actually making some butternut squash soup for my family and it was not a pretty sight in the kitchen. The soup went everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh. All right. Ooh, this is nice and smooth. Just the way I like it. I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator for about an hour and you can also do this overnight. And I think it's great when it's overnight because all of the flavors just kind of blend and marinate. And it just gets really nice and yummy and delicious. To serve, I am just gonna pour it into this bowl here. And look at how nice and fresh this looks. And you guys, this smells so good. Oh, I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil on top. Look at how pretty that is. Sprinkle some pepper, there we go. Oh, this says spring soup all over it. I'm gonna make it rain with some basil. And you can put as much of this as you want. And whenever I'm having soup, I always love to serve it with some grilled bread. It's time for me to dig in. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is so delicious. It screams springtime, and I can taste all of the flavors. It's light, and it's fresh, and it's the bomb. Next up, my lemon soup with chicken. This is a really nice, light, flavorful soup that's perfect for spring. So first, I'm gonna add some chicken stock, and this is just gonna add lots of flavor. I'm gonna add some water, and I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. All of these soups would be great for, you know, any spring occasion that's coming up, whether that's Mother's Day, Easter, or even a great weeknight meal. I personally love soups because they're one pot meals. It's easy, you're kind of just like dumping all of your ingredients into one pot and less mess. It's nice and bubbly just the way I like it. And next I'm gonna add my orzo. And basically what this is, it's pasta, even though it looks like rice, but I'm just gonna add it to my chicken broth. Give it a little stir. And I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer. So instead of cooking my pasta in a separate pot, I'm actually cooking it in this pot with the chicken broth because it's gonna add loads of flavor. Next, I'm just going to ladle a little bit and I'm gonna add it to my eggs. And what I'm doing is I'm tempering my eggs. And this is gonna make my soup really nice and smooth and creamy. And this will also stop my eggs from scrambling in the soup. Oh, she's kicking. My gosh, this baby is getting so big. Her kicks are not just like, deep, deep, deep. it's like bam, bam, bam. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay, just gonna add my eggs into the soup. 
see how nice and creamy it's starting to look? My orzo, it's ready and cooked. Now I'm gonna add my chicken. And this is just already pre-cooked chicken and you can get this at like any grocery store. Saves a lot of time. I know during springtime, I like to be out in the backyard, jumping in the pool, having some fun with my family. So the less time that I'm in the kitchen, the better. Give this a nice stir. This is already looking so good. I'm gonna add my lemon juice. It's gonna make this really nice and light and fresh. Some turmeric. Now I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. And now it's time to eat. My favorite part. <laughs> Look at how creamy, yummy, yummy, yummy. Isn't this easy? I mean, you only have a few ingredients and you have this delicious hearty meal. I'm gonna add some tarragon which is a great spring herb. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm! <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what, the star of this soup, I would definitely have to say is the lemon juice. It's just so nice and fresh and light. And again, it sings springtime. I just have to have another bite. I'm happy. The baby's happy. And you will be happy too. Next up is my pesto tortellini soup. Again, this soup is easy, light, fresh, and perfect for spring. So I'm gonna start with some chicken broth, some water, and I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. I see some steam, which is telling me it's nice and ready. I'm gonna add my tortellini. This is fresh tortellini, so it will cook rather quickly and it's done when it floats up to the top. All right, I'm gonna bring this down to a simmer. So first, I'm gonna start with my store-bought pesto. And what pesto is, is basil, garlic, Parmesan cheese, and pine nuts. And this is just gonna add lots of flavor to the soup. Get all of that in there. I love pesto. Give it a little stir. I just love the smell of pesto. It's just so nice and fresh. Okay, I'm gonna add some spinach. And this seems like a lot, but you know spinach, it really cooks down. I'm gonna add some frozen peas. Look at how vibrant this looks. I'm gonna add some salt, some pepper. Ah, this smells and looks so good. I love it. So the spinach and the peas, it doesn't take long to cook. So we are ready to taste this. This looks amazing. Ta-da! And then I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. And who doesn't love cheese? Who loves cheese? I do, I do, I do, I do. All right, just sprinkle some cheese on top. You can put on as much as you like. And I love me some cheese. There we go, and this is gonna give it a nice salty bite. And let's try it, why don't we? Okay, get the peas in there, the tortellini, the Parmesan cheese, and the spinach. Mmm. Wow. This is delicious. My goodness, I don't know which one is my favorite. But you know what? Why don't you guys leave me a comment and tell me which one is your favorite? And don't forget, make sure you guys subscribe and you know what's coming next. See you next week. Bye.